next at 5. Now at 5, an infant death investigation. Few details are surfacing about how a five-month-old in Columbia City died in a house that's now condemned. Good evening to you. I'm Mark Mellinger. And I'm Heather Heron. The baby was rushed to the hospital and pronounced dead yesterday morning. News Channel 15's Don Austin spent the day digging into details about what happened. He is in news control tonight with what he uncovered. Heather and Mark, the baby was removed from a house on Camden Drive in Columbia City. As you said, that home is now condemned because of evidence of methamphetamine. She moved in probably sometime around September. The baby was born just right before she moved in. A neighbor called 911 early Monday morning because of screams coming from 730 Camden Drive. According to a statement from Columbia City Police, medics got to the house and rushed a five-month-old baby girl to Parkview Whitley Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. Well, I came home at 3, and there were all sorts of police car, and the health department was here, and the environmental truck, trucks were here, and then I figured right then and there that I had found out that the baby had died. And so then I thought, I bet they had a meth lab in the basement. Police have released very few details about this investigation. We don't know how the baby died. The coroner's office said it could be four to six weeks before the complete autopsy report is available. There's a sign on the front door. The Whitley County Department of Health condemned the house because of evidence of methamphetamine. I am extremely surprised. I had no idea. You know, they always say when there's a, a meth lab close, you should be able to smell something. I had no idea. Just, I was totally in shock. And Lori told me she didn't notice a lot of activity in and out of the house, but had heard rumors of drug problems there. Sometimes the garage door would be left open all night long, which I thought was kind of strange, especially in this cold weather. Mm. You know, why would you leave your garage door open all night long? Some of the neighbors complained about loud music and banging noises coming from the house. Lori said that's about it. I said, and I was saying, how do people not know? You should be able to know that, and you should be able to smell things. And I thought... Wow. You know, I'm just in shock. Well, the, the identities of the woman and the baby have not been released, and at this point, no criminal charges have been filed. Reporting live tonight in News Control, I'm Don Austin, News Channel 15.